today I have a super awesome Dollar Tree haul for you. <laughs> I went to Southern Pines with my mom for her birthday. We took her out to eat. Um, you will see that vlog. The vlog's probably already up before this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the goodies I found. Um, there's about 20-ish items. Um, it was 20 some dollars. I can't remember right now exactly how much it was. But um, super good finds. This Dollar Tree was like immaculate like this Dollar Tree was off the chain it was super clean um it had pretty much everything that I had been looking for in a Dollar Tree and could not find locally um if you're looking for any Dollar Tree Christmas stuff there are some Dollar Trees that have started taking out their Christmas decorations and different things that you'll need to make like little crafty items so definitely be on the lookout for that because you know stuff will get gone really really quickly so we're just going ahead and get in this to this can't even talk we're gonna go ahead and jump into this haul um it's gonna be pretty random they're just kind of thrown into these two bags so let's get started all right the first items because i purchased two of them are the theraflu multi-symptom severe cold packets these packets you can make like a little tea with um and there is the green tea and citrus flavor um the reason that i purchased these mainly because hello it's theraflu but I got this one there is a little bit of a difference this is yeah there's a difference in the flavors but this in particular um, this was the only thing that could really help me when I was sick um, a couple days ago about a week ago um, and I just couldn't get any relief whatsoever so I had my husband pick me up some of this he got this from Dollar General for six dollars and some change and the only difference in these is that the ones I got from Dollar Tree are nighttime and this one's just I guess whatever part of the day you want to take it which I was taking it at night anyway so it really didn't matter but you got six packs for a dollar so we could have got 36 packs for the price that we got six for at Dollar General. So be on the lookout for these. That's that's a really good deal. They don't expire until June of 2017. I'm sure with the weather changing up on us the way it is, we'll need these here in the near future. So go out, stock up on these. The next medicine item I got was some of this Mucinex Fast Pass. This is for cold, flu, and sore throat. It can never be too ready for a cold to just slap you in the face at any given moment so you got to be prepared and there are little um there's portable packets in here which i really like so i can throw it in my purse if i'm in town or if i'm away from my house and i start feeling a little icky and i don't have anything on me now i have some mucinex hello lady but um so there are four portable pa pouches in here so there's two caplets in each of those so there's eight all together so that's a really good deal next random thing i'm going to try this true line that everybody keeps talking about there was no lemon or anything like that for me to try but this has zero sodium which is the best never get any of these little packets that have sodium in it my mama taught me that um that's not good for you at all you might as well be out here drinking a soda or something so i'm going to try this in some water and just See what it tastes like. I'm excited. Another random item is some cornstarch baby powder. I just needed some baby powder. And if you didn't know, talc, which is found in most baby powders, um, is really bad for you. There have been some studies that showed it was a cause of cancer, could cause cancer. So go check your baby powder. See if there's talc in it. T-A-L-C. And throw that stuff out. I went through all the bars and I was like, get away, get away. We don't we don't need any help getting sick here. So I got some cornstarch baby powder. So yeah. We just needed that. Picked up some Dial. Um, this is like the roll-on deodorant, the antiperspirant and deodorant. Um, I just got this to put in my purse because it's hot and sometimes I forget to put deodorant on. So this smells really clean um, and it won't melt. So that's the problem with you know regular deodorants. If you put them in your in your purse or if they leave them in your car and it gets hot and they melt and you've ruined your deodorant. So this way you can just have something if you forget you can just quickly you know put it on it's fine you're good to go. So just a little thing of dial deodorant. Um, most Dollar Trees have been putting out their breast cancer awareness stuff. October is breast cancer awareness. We are super huge on this because my Aunt Sarah was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2005. She has been a 11 year cancer survivor um so anytime we see anything breast cancer related we try to pick up stuff especially when they give some of the proceeds to the breast cancer foundation to help try to find a cause or to help um just to help anybody that has breast cancer so i picked up these really cute 
little shades. You never have too many shades because I break them and I lose them. So these were just the little black lens things on the front with the pink arms and it has the little breast cancer ribbons on the back. So I thought those were super cute. And the other breast cancer item I picked up were some socks. These look a lot like Victoria's Secret socks. They say think pink and that font looks almost identical to Victoria's Secret. So and like it says, it says the Jenna group will donate a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this product to support breast cancer research, treatment, and education. So those are super cute. These are um, size 9 through 11. Um, I want to say they're going to go up like halfway to my calf maybe. They're kind of long, but these are really cute. So excited about those. I picked Cody up some of the Star Kiss Tuna, one in the lemon pepper and the sweet and spicy. This is a lot more expensive in Walmart or Food Lion or wherever you purchase your tuna. I don't really eat tuna. It's not my cup of tea. So he's just going to pop this in his lunch bags and take it to work. Just have something easy for him to throw together and make lunch with. Another deodorant. This one's for Cody. He said he's mailed it in his gym bag when he left it in his car when he goes to work. So this one's Right Guard and it's Sport Fresh. This one says up to 48 hours. Mine's up to 24 hours but come on people you need to be putting on deodorant more than every 24 hours so this one smelled really good too more masculine um clean scent so that's good for that as well i picked two of these battery operated candles i have never seen these at the dollar tree before i don't know if they already have batteries this one actually already has batteries in it um you can find these at walmart um hobby lobby different places like that they both work i'm shocked um but they will be a lot more expensive. So I needed some more of these little battery operated candles to put in decorations, especially for Christmas. I do my decorating is elevated quite a bit for Christmas, more so than it is for fall. So um, yeah, you definitely gotta, you know, go watch that tour when I put it up. So um, these will go well with everything else. I do have a couple battery operated candles already, but they were not from the Dollar Tree. So they were probably $4 for one candle. So this is a really good deal. Next up, I found some of these Progresso um, little easy meals. They're like microwave meals. One is the rustic marinara pasta and the other one is creamy garlic parmesan pasta. I really struggle the most with eating lunch, especially when I don't have anyone around me and I'm not motivated to eat. If nobody else is eating, I don't really want to eat. So um, this has just made it a lot easier for me to, I guess, prepare meals. I've been eating some Lean Cuisine meals and I've actually been eating for the past week. I have actually Eight, breakfast lunch and dinner so you guys be super proud of me so I'm excited about them I don't know how they're gonna taste um they sound good <laughs> but it only takes I think like five minutes yeah easy prep five minutes so I think it's gonna be pretty good progress is pretty good so we'll see how this goes if any of you's already tried these comment down below and let me know it's not the best as far as calories go um, as far as protein how much protein y'all got? 10 grams of protein in this one and 10 grams in this one. Not as much as my Lean Cuisine meals, but hey, it's better than nothing. Next up, I got this spreader. I didn't have like a frosting thing, um, which my mom makes cake. So I've seen her just fancily do it. And I'm like, I want something more than just a butter knife because I have just a butter knife and I hardly ever make cakes. But when I do make cakes, I want to look like my mama and just look like I know what I'm doing. But this is like really like sturdy like really really sturdy it's got a wooden handle which i love wooden handles it just fits my theme aesthetic whatever a whole lot better this is just it's really nice for a dollar this is really really good quality so i got one of those i picked up two of these candles um got one in the scent pumpkin pie and the other one in the scent cranberry smash now i mentioned this um pumpkin pie candle in my fall favorite candle video Definitely go get that a watch. Um, I, I explain more so what the scent smells like. So watch that one. Now this Cranberry Smash, um, I normally buy that pumpkin pie one every year. So I'm used to that one and I know how it burns. But this one's new to me. And I do really, I just totally got my lipstick on it. Great. This one smells really good. It's got that fruity scent that I love. If you watch past candle hauls and just different candle themed videos, you know I love fruity masculine type scents. So this cranberry smash mode, really good, fruity and fresh, but it still had that fall spiciness that I really like. Picked up some of this olive oil hair sheen. The story behind this, I normally don't buy hair products products, products at all from the Dollar Tree. I am a licensed cosmetologist. 
I indulge in the finer things when it comes to hair because I just know what works and what doesn't work. But this stuff right here, Cody had some, somebody must have bought him some, I don't know, but in the transition of moving him here, somebody was helping us move our, th our stuff into our bathroom and they put this on my side of the bathroom. And I was like, oh, what is this? So I'm going, you know, through the whole curly girl thing and I'm like, let me spray a little bit of this in because it's sort of like a hairspray, um, but it is going to give you a little bit of sheen. So it wasn't like um, like an oil spray or something like that. So I sprayed a little bit on it and that's probably been the best summer that my curls ever looked. They look super moisturized. They didn't look greasy um, or still wet looking. Everything looked dry and it just looked really, really healthy. And I was like, where did he get this magic liquid from? He had no idea he even owned it. So he was no help to me whatsoever. So I had been um, seeing this packaging at different Dollar Trees and I was like, that's the same packaging. But I could never find the stuff the actual name of the stuff that I had used myself. Finally, we found it. We found the olive oil hair sheen. I love it. Would not suggest this. If you have thinner, stringier hair that doesn't have much of a curl pattern to it, I think it's going to be way too heavy for you. If you have coarser, thicker, more curlier hair, definitely give it a try. I love it. If you got some kids that have some wild hair that needs some taming and it's just really dry, try this i love this stuff and my last item for this haul sweetheart ropes <laughs> i wasn't even going to show these because i've already shown them in a previous haul and i get them just about every single time i go to dollar tree almost every single time i've already broke into the package but what's a dollar tree haul without a sweetheart rope all right, guys, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying these Dollar Tree hauls just as much as I love going to the Dollar Tree. Um, if you haven't already, I do have a giveaway that's still going. It's my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Even though we are like on the hairy edge of hitting 2,000 subscribers, I cry when I hit 1,000. God only knows what I'll do when I hit 2,000. I don't know. I might pass out. Somebody might have to come and check on me. I might be fell out in my house. But I have a giveaway going on right now. I will link it below in the description box. I also have like a little thing pop up here. So you'll be able to go to that video and watch it. A lot of people have entered. It's going to be a completely random um, selection of who wins. So don't be upset with me if you don't win. There will be many more in the future. But anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And thanks for watching.